Hi, my name is Mahib Zara, and I'm going to show you how to connect a punch to design light blue bean to Octablue so you can create awesome flows kind of like this one. A light blue bean is actually a Bluetooth Arduino. Uh, we've got a tutorial on Hackster um, that'll help you get set up, but we can go to the punchthrough.com website and you're going to go and download the Arduino IDE and the bean loader application. Um, so I've already downloaded it for OS X as well as the the bean loader app. Uh, so you're going to want to do is install bean loader. Uh, this allows you to connect to the bean, talk to it, set certain uh, characteristics, and uh, program it. So we're going to drop it into our applications. And next we've got an uh, got a we next we've got to associate uh, an Arduino IDE application with it. Uh, the Arduino IDE allows us to write Arduino code and burn it to the board um, in situations where we wanted to do something different from the capabilities that it already exposes. You don't necessarily need this if you're just trying to get sensor data, uh, sensor data such as the accelerometer or temperature off the beam, or things like RSSI. Those are already built in without the need for the Arduino IDE. But to do things like sending accelerometer data or controlling the beam uh, more in depth, you're going to need the IDE. So we're going to close that. We're going to turn on Bluetooth. We're going to search for our beam. We see that our beam shows up. It's disconnected currently. We're going to connect to the beam. Uh, a new beam will show up as just a name beam. And it's going to probably ask us to update the firmware. So we're going to update the firmware. Uh, this will take a minute or two, so be patient. OK, now we're going to connect. We're just going to check that everything's working and that we've got the right bean. Um, in our case, we've got tons of these lying around, so we want to make sure this is the one I'm holding. So I do see the light blink. And we can do things like ping it for our sensor data. Before we quit the bean loader, we're going to give this a new name. So we hit enter. And we'll call this one we go ahead and quit the bean loader app so that it doesn't interfere with the connection from the gate blue plugin we're about to install. Um, be sure to watch our other videos that explain gate blue and uses of Octablue. Gateblue is our desktop gateway application. So we're going to go to connect and add new node. And we're going to add this light blue bean plugin to our gateway. And that should be installing remotely to the gateway on this laptop. If you look here, we see that it's initializing and installing a new plugin. So now we get this menu that shows up. So we're going to give it a name. And these are all the different things we can do with the light blue bean. Uh, in this case, local name, we're going to give the name that we just gave the bean to a bean loader so that the plugin can look for that light blue bean. In this way, you could have any number of light blue beans connected to one gateway. So we're going to hit update, and we also told it to broadcast accelerometer data. So now we'll create a new flow. Call it bean demo. I'm going to go to Configured Nodes and drop in our new light blue bean. You see here, we can go to the Operators bin and select a Debug node. We're going to deploy this flow, and we see the heartbeat. That means sensor data is coming in, so if we go to the Debug tab, we'll see that's the accelerometer data. Another cool thing we can do is we can send color values to the bean to change the onboard LED. So let's drop two instances here. We'll have one turn it red, one turn it blue. I'm going to attach triggers to each of these. So we redeployed that. And you'll see here the light blue bean. Turn it red, 
can turn it blue. Now, let's do something a little more interesting. Um, we see this accelerometer data shows us that when I have the light blue beam set resting on the table, uh, sensors generally on the y-axis um, stay in positive, but when I pick it up, it immediately goes to a negative value. So let's set something that indicates to us that the light blue beam has been picked up. So we're going to drop a less than node, and we see the message dot payload dot excel dot y corresponds to that sensor value. So we'll do double curly braces to reference the message that came in dot payload dot excel dot y close with double curly braces and see that it's less than zero or not. If it's not less than zero, it will uh, the node will block the message from flowing through. Um, so we'll drop in an SMS node. Let's imagine we connected that to some phone number. The SMS node is included in the configured nodes tab for all users. So you can send free SMS. So we'll tell it to send alert to some number. We'll hit deploy. We see that when it's sitting, it doesn't do anything. But the minute we pick up, it starts sending text messages. Now let's do something else. So we're going to program the Arduino with uh, the Arduino side of the light blue beam. So we're going to make sure our gateway plugin is off so that it doesn't interfere with the bean loader app connecting and talking to it. We're going to connect to our bean. And once it's connected, we're going to open up the Arduino ID that we associated with it and this sample code here, which will include a link to, um, will read an analog sensor value and then pass it to characteristic one. So we're going to go to Tools, Board, and select Light Blue Bean for serial port. Set the Light Blue Beans port. Hit Upload. And we'll see in the Light Blue Bean loader that it got the sketch. We're going to right click on the sensor and we're going to program sketch. So this will take a minute. It's important that you don't do this on a low battery. In this case, I've got an analog sensor, uh, a photo cell, wired up to the light blue, bean, light blue beans pins so that our uh, signal line is connected to analog zero and our power and ground are connected to power and ground. And there's lots of tutorials out there on how to wire up sensors to Arduino boards or light blue bean boards. So we're going to go to the connect page and make sure we set those options. Uh, but before we do that, we need to turn back, turn this uh, plugin back on. So we're going to hit that. Now we see that it's active. And we're, going to go, we're going to go in. We're going to set notify scratch one to true. And just to make the data that comes in cleaner, we're going to turn off broadcast accelerometer. We're going to hit save. We're going to go to the design page. We're going to drop a debug node right after the light blue bean again. Let's open the debug console and hit deploy. And about every 10,000 milliseconds, we should see sensor values come in. So congratulations, you now know how to set up a light blue bean to OctaBlue, and we can't wait to see what you connect it up to. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Be sure to watch our other videos to understand OctaBlue usage some more.